My name is David O'Halloran. I'm the Senior Curator at the La Trobe Regional Gallery. Today, we are going to have a look at our exhibition, Friendly Country, Friendly People, Art from Papunya Chula. Thirty years ago, this exhibition, Friendly Country, Friendly People, was developed as a national touring exhibition by the Araluan Art Centre. Fortunately for us today, CBUS acquired the entire exhibition at the time for their collection. Papunya Chula Art Cooperative and the Western Desert art it showcases is central to any discussion about the development and understanding of contemporary Aboriginal art. This exhibition presents a rare opportunity to view a moment in time. It provides a chance to reflect that Aboriginal art comes in many genres and from many voices. The key message in the restaging of this exhibition is that Aboriginal art is, and always has been, contemporary art. The famous Honey Ant Dreaming painting on the wall of the schoolhouse Hapunya Chula came from a collaboration of Indigenous men of different lands. The Honey Ant Dreaming mural was an early example of a continuing adaptive tradition of Aboriginal art that kept its connection to country whilst keeping important cultural knowledge secret. Jessica Clark, in her catalogue essay that accompanies this exhibition at La Trobe Regional Gallery, says that the Papunya Chula paintings signified a way back home for the artists. They signified a new way forward for Aboriginal artists across the country for a way to survive and to keep culture alive. There are many milestones in the continuing story of Aboriginal art and we are delighted that the La Trobe Regional Gallery is able to present one part of the Papunya Chula story, a story which is very important in Australian art. The artwork in this exhibition is stunning. <laughs>